We feel pretty good. Uh, we had uh, three points out of four on the road, and we didn't play as good as, as the coaching staff hoped. So we worked pretty hard this uh, week in practice, and we're hoping that uh, everybody buys in the system and we have a good game for our fans tonight. Well, I, I found myself um, this summer when I came to the rink, um, walking through the dress room and getting the smell of the dress room. And I know that may sound a little funny, but actually um, brought me back to when I, I was a junior A hockey player. And I, and I remember um, them talking about having me come into a meeting with the coach and management team to meet the captain of the, the team. And I was the captain of my junior A team. And I thought back to all those years ago where I was brought into a, a meeting and for it to come full circle and where I'm now sitting in a, in a different position, I, I'm, a, I'm a excited to, um, from the perspective of knowing the game really well and uh, knowing what we're trying to do here, I think from that perspective, and I got my, the juices flowing just watching the exhibition games back to what it was like when I was playing, but just slightly different. We're excited that there's been a lot of work put in here by the players and staff and even our volunteers. And it's just nice to kind of to get together and get to play that first game in front of our home fans. So I think the energy is really, uh, really positive right now. We're just looking forward to dropping the puck. Well, we've got a number of local players, so you know we're you know that's all part of you know, the, our mandate and what we'd like to have is uh, you know all the top young prospects locally and uh, across Ontario here. We're excited about the group. We have a nice mix of young and old. Um, you know, we've already got a ton of Division One attention um, and obviously the major junior attention as well. So um, those players are going to make some mistakes. There's going to be some growing pains, but they're exciting and, and they're, they're fun to coach. That's the most exciting part about um, providing an opportunity to, to get the best coaching and the, um, the best management structure put in place to allow these young men to develop into um, men and hockey players. So it's, it's exciting um, to be able to see that progress go through. Well, I think that our captain, Colin Doyle, he's going to have a breakout season. He's primed and he's ready. Uh, you know, he's, he's going to take on that leadership role, you know, both on and off the ice. You know, I think he set the tone in the first weekend of the, of the season. And, you know, he's exactly what all our players, we want our players to kind of emulate. So uh, he's a blue collar guy. So he, keep an eye out for him. I wouldn't be surprised if he does some big things. Yeah, we're going to try to do as much as we can to have, keep the community engaged. Um, we're going to be promoting local businesses, local cider, beer companies, whatever we can do to get a little bit of an environment where it's uh, fun to come to the rink and see what's happening here besides just coming to watch a hockey game. So we're excited to have County Cider here today. We've got a great band, the Far Side playing. It's going to be real fun today. Well, we've got a great group of people that have come in to start helping. So, you know, there's going to be lots of activities between periods. We've got a tractor race and a bunch of other things. So when you come to the games, it's going to be fun. There'll be lots of things that are engaging the community. We'll be, I don't know, like hockey's going to be fantastic. We've got a great young team that's really fast and exciting to watch. So we're going to put a good product on the ice and have something fun afterwards as well. Yeah, so they pay uh, $10 for a ticket. You're in for the whole season. We draw names out and you get a chance to race a tractor around. We time it. The winner of the the race ends up winning a lawn tractor at the end of it for the, for the season. It's going to be real fun. So, you know, we're going to dress the person up and second prize, hopefully people will vote online and get them to uh, pick the, their favorite racer and we'll end up having them get a free dinner at the Drake Devonshire. Um, so it's going to be kind of a fun event. I'll bend to this day At the Hunter Viridian At the Hunter Viridian Fantastic, man. The hot dogs and hamburgers are great. I, I can't get over all the stuff you can put on your hamburger. You got a hamburger about that, that, that thick. Fantastic. I'm loving it. It's great. So much fun. The music is great. The smell of the food is awesome. And I've got my cider here. Everything's awesome.
We're hoping for a thousand people hopefully at the game if we can. Um, we've got a great buzz around the community right now that they're engaged and they want to come to the game, so I'm really excited that they're going to come. Fun. The community is really excited about uh, all the all that this upcoming season. It's just great to see everybody. Well, it's obviously a lot of a lot of fun, and it's good for the community. Get everyone involved and uh, get some people out to the game. I think it's pretty cool.